Today, the most common price of gas in America is $3.39, down from over $5 when I took office. Down from over $5 when I took office. What? We need to keep making that progress. <laughs> the reason why gas prices are up is because of Russia. Russia, Russia, Russia. No, he's a liar. He lies about everything. Democrats are manipulative. They use their puppets to fulfill their dirty agenda. They need a yes man. John Fetterman is their latest victim. And right now, voters need to end this vicious cycle so these train wreck candidates stop walking the halls of the Capitol. I do want to clarify something. You're saying tonight that you support fracking, that you've always supported fracking, but there is that 2018 interview that you said, quote, I don't support fracking at all. So how do you square the two? I, I, I do support fracking, and I don't, I don't, I support fracking, and I stand, and I do support fracking. I don't uh, support fracking. I, I think it's something that has to eventually go away, uh, and I would like to see it, you know, transition out. I, I do support fracking. I don't uh, support fracking. I, I support fracking. I don't uh, support fracking. I, I think it's something that has to eventually go away. And I stand and I do support fracking. The Republican Party is running a bunch of ads about showing Fetterman you know, st uh, stumbling on things because of the stroke. Mm -hmm. What kind of a doctor is behind that? Aren't you supposed to do no harm? It's so unempathetic to the guy. You know, and I just want to say that Oz is very slick. He's a TV guy. Yeah. Remember that. There's another woman in Arizona, Carrie Lake, also a TV woman. Mm -hmm. So they're very slick. Republicans think that Herschel Walker is coherent and he hasn't had a stroke. Oh. I mean, I've got a, I that's mean, a very, that's a valid point. And, uh, and also, let us not forget that Donald Trump told us to inject bleach when we were suffering from COVID at the large numbers. President Biden hit the campaign trail ahead of the midterm elections. The president was campaigning alongside Senate candidate John Fetterman. Wonder what's next? Biden Fetterman 2024? <laughs> <laughs> they really think the American people are stupid. It's to me that he chose to bully a stroke victim. Yeah. Exactly. Right? Like he obviously was bullying him. And, um, you know, I don't think the people of Pennsylvania or the people in general liked that because Fetterman raised $1 million after that debate. But John Fetterman is the only American politician who makes Joe Biden sound like Winston Churchill. And while, of course, we <laughs> want right. to be empathetic, yeah, we want to be empathetic to people who've been stroke victims, but it doesn't make you a bad person if you don't want a stroke victim to be your neurosurgeon or your airline pilot or your Uber driver or your lawyer or your senator. And I think it takes real courage to show that you've been knocked down. I think it takes real bravery to allow people to see your weakness, right? I think it is selfish that John Fetterman is doing this because he's not going to be able to articulate any of his policy views. He's not going to be able to advocate forcefully on behalf of his constituents to federal agencies when they need help from the VA or with colleagues in strenuous debate. I mean, how can someone act like you can fail at a debate like this and then go and be a U.S. senator? This guy didn't give responses Whoa. that would win a Senate seat or even a South Carolina beauty pageant interview portion. Recent polls have shown a fifth of Americans can't locate the U.S. on a world map. Why do you think this is? You know, and, you know, you talk about the, 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 liber, the liberty of, of, state, of statue um, has never had a, an inscription inside that said, you know, send your, your tired, huddered uh, masses. Some people out there in our nation don't have that. Everybody in Braddock, uh, an overwhelmingly majority uh, community of, of black uh, community, all understood what happened. You know, they, uh, they understood what happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Apparently, there's a reason he's not releasing those medical records. And of course, the reason the Democratic Party is willing to accept John Fetterman in the Senate is because they're willing to accept Joe Biden in the White House. It makes you wonder what's next. We know that Fetterman's cognitive abilities have not been compromised. John Fetterman did not have the capability to even articulate a policy position. So whether you agree with him or not, he's not going to be a very good senator for you. So this is not a stupid guy. No. This is a guy, as you mentioned, was governor of Pennsylvania, was Ooh, mayor for, for many, uh, lieutenant governor, was mayor for many years, and, and as well, um, <clears throat> you know, has just led his life in public service. So why would you vote for the whack doc, doctor? The quack. The quack. <laughs> He's not really a and, quack. And not vote. No. Well, I mean, I, I was he, on his show many, many times, yeah. but he, you know, he really rode the line. He did. Um, for, for money and power. Yeah, he I, really did. Here are the facts. He's got a pacemaker. He's 53 years old. He's got an enlarged heart. You just mentioned that. Um, as a result of having an enlarged heart, he's got to travel around with a defibrillator. Uh, does that increase his chances for another stroke? First of all, he doesn't have a typical pacemaker. He has a defibrillator, which means his heart function is severely weakened. His stroke was on the left side. We know that. Um, and that can affect things like executive function, you know, comprehension, forming sentences. Uh, so that can basically masquerade if somebody really does have cognitive setbacks. Those are pretty important things for United States senators. How concerned are you just from a medical perspective? Again, I have not examined the patient. Um, he is a public official. Perhaps he should have an independent exam to make us uh, feel that we're comfortable. But I can't comment on that because I haven't examined him. He clearly has a difficulty expressing himself. Other than that, no one should be able to comment on whether or not he's fit based on that. I am concerned with his terrible compliance. He stops that okay. blood thinner again, he's going to have another stroke. 